Hello everybody, I'm here for the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to Battle for the Phosphorus and to my Greece playthrough where we have Themistoculus Sophulus in charge. I've definitely said that incredibly wrong. Uh, we are going to try and work down resurrecting the Megali idea today as well as kind of just finishing off the uh, industry tree because I do kind of want to deal with the four monopolies and get another research slot. Um, I've made a decision on what I'm going to do as well. Because uh, I've seen Taki do it, the Horror and Fear route. He's going that way. So I'm going to go for the Gordian Knot and go down the opposite way. I'm going to try and get everyone else to agree to, you know, taking down Turkey. But I don't know how that's going to go. It could end in failure. But if so, then, oh well, so be it. Now, I would love to expand my army. Uh, we're, we're fine on artillery. Right, so what we need to do is really just do this. Right, we just need to bump up that priority on you. Because we, we are we are building factories just very, very slowly. Alright, let's go and do the Theban Warriors. It's not our goal to create a pillarized society of militants that favors strength above all. We actively oppose and reject any attempt to mimic Mussolini's system of government. We are Greeks, not Romans. Instead of creating a cult of worship that runs with violent Spartans, let us instead celebrate Thebans. We overthrew the Spartan hegemony through cunning. Right, we don't need any of that. Actually, I am interested in when we're able to do these two. And more propaganda doesn't really matter for the time being. Right, we've got more rise research, that's always good. So we're able to get signal companies now. Now, Turkey does have a bigger army than us by quite a large amount, really. So I was hoping to actually naval invade them as well. So there's actually two straits here. I didn't realize. I don't know. Has the Dardanelles always been one? Must have been. There's only anything that can go through there right now is trade. But... Um, I'd love to be able to make it to Istanbul, but I thought I'd be able to do that. <laughs> and yes, I'm just apologies. Um, I've still kind of got the cold, so this is going to be a little bit of uh, nose blowing. I'm going to do Athenian thinkers, but I'm not going to bother with um, this Macedonian generals one right now. Uh, but let's grab this. Some of mankind's finest thinkers came from Athens with little encouragement paid to the arts and sciences. We shall once again start to see great minds spring up all across Greece. Give me that research speed. Then we'll go ahead and do the Anatolian refugees. And then we'll do resurrect the Megali idea. Because that's going to take 210 days to do just both of them. So, I kind of want to get them out of the way. And I also want to go for partial mobilization. And I also want to grab the... Hmm... Do I want some Metaxas? I'm actually going to grab the Infantry Expert. That's an investment for the future war to come. Now, I think it's France, Italy and UK that are involved in the, the conference, the convention that we have. Um, so hopefully we can, um, can get the French to at least join because then that's a border for Turkey to cover. If they can all join, that would be ideal. But at the same time, I don't want to rush it, but it is almost getting to 1938, so... Right, the Anatolian refugees. After the Anatolian catastrophe, we were forced to take nearly 2 million Greek refugees that have been living in Turkey. We're unprepared, the situation is a little more untenable. The refugees are now being politically organised under Georgius Cosmidis, another Anatolian exile. The movement is too large to ignore, and in the end, our, our aims really so different. Ah, the fascists. Well, they can firmly put themselves in the bin. Themistoculus, I really am terrible at pronouncing Greek names. I do apologize. So we are producing subs. No, we're not. We've not got enough steel. Yeah, I'll trade with the French. Why not? And free trade, which I guess is beneficial because we didn't have that a lot of resources. Oh, 
Army Maneuver Genius, plus 15 Division Speed. Definitely taking that. Right, I'll get Signal Company's research because we're going to need them in the future. Oh yes, our debts. When are we going to be paying off our, the rest of our debts? I think it's just the French that have the debts left, so... New rank's fine. The political instability. I don't know if you can get rid of the political instability. State of the nation. Oh, okay. I do love the music that's been added in. Especially this one, the end of the war. I do remember we need to actually go after Greece as well. No, go after myself. Yeah, go after um, Albania. Don't think the Italians would take too kindly to that, but we'll see what happens. Because I'm still going to be democratic. So if anything, I'm just going to be helping the Allies when hopefully the UK doesn't declare war on me like they did for Yugoslavia. Even though I was planning to join the Allies. Okay. Right. The dastardly Anatolian fascists have been sowing chaos while making themselves unapproachable by the government since the very inception of the malignant movement. However, things appear to be changing. We have been approached with Ops to make a deal of a century to join our forces with the Anatolian fascists to further our mutual goal of a defeated Turkey. It cannot be denied that many of our administration would make this deal with the devils of our nation simply to get them to cause, oh no, she's sorry, their anti-government actions. It is also cannot be denied that there are even some serpents among our civil servants to find the EE's goals agreeable or even laudable. Thankfully, Magnate Aristotle Anassis has presented us with an alternative course of action. Anassis, also being from Anatolia, will form a counter-movement using his fame, business acumen, and personal wealth, and use that move, uh, movement to sap the EE support base. This course of action by no means guarantees the squashing of the EE. We, we have more than enough evidence to suggest Onassis could well pull off the caper if we ask him to. So, the ghost of the past will not return to haunt us again, so the coalition with the EE, which I am not doing, the fascists will come friendly. Nope, allying with the EE will have serious repercussions when the Heraklian Convention is called. No, no deal with the fascist vermin. And Aristotle Unassis, I think it just became... I should have read that there. Oh, he's here. Gifted shipping magnate. <laughs> oh, he's a civilian factory construction speed. What a man. That was the choice to go for. Anyways, resurrecting the Megali idea. We were promised the Megali idea in 1990, but after the subsequent Greco-Turkish War, the dream was almost dashed forever. But for as long as the Turks continue to profane our great lands of old with their presence, we shall continue to covet what is rightfully ours. The Greek people remembered this once, they shall be made to remember it again. And what we're also going to do is, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to befriend the fascists. I am going to befriend them. And you may be like, Dun, why are you going to befriend them? Because I think... Yeah, oh no, maybe I don't need to befriend them. It was just so we had the option to actually use the fascist, um, fascist members of the uh, cabinet, but I uh, don't think it really matters. You know what, let's just, you know, let's just crush them. Yeah, let's just crush them. It has long last come to revisit the treaties of the uh, Severs and Lausanne with the great powers of Europe, and also reapportionment to the topic of the Magali idea. The fate of Turkey can be decided by us alone, so we must first garner and cultivate the approval of the United Kingdom, France, and the contemptible Italy if we choose to invite them to our conference as well. Yes, let's invite all of the members of that. I feel like that's probably the option to choose. Don't really want to tell Italy to bugger off. I think that would be a disastrous idea. That's going to take so long to do. <laughs> okay. Officials gathered in the capital were delighted to hear that both the United Kingdom and France would be both sending uh, delegates to take part in our Heraclean Convention. But that exuberance 
was cut short by the anxiety over Italy's attendance. Many of her political figures have privately expressed their concerns that Italian machinations could sabotage the entire event, but uh, Themis Douglas remains convinced that Divine Italy was the right decision. Preparations for the summit have already been made, and the convention will formally get underway in a matter of days. Together, our delegates will carve up spheres of influence in northern and southern Turkey, for ultimately deciding whether we should grant it our rightful territories along the Aegean. History is able to be made, and Greece will be at the very heart of it. This should be interesting. Indeed it shall. Because I don't exactly know what the plan is for carving up Turkey into spheres of influence. Maybe someone gets Kurdistan? Oh, oh there we go, a French mandate in Kurdistan. The topic for the first round of voting is whether or not France should be permitted a French mandate in Turkish Kurdistan upon the capitulation of Turkey. Many attending French officials suggest such an arrangement is perfectly logical given France's proximity to the, uh, to the region and the reasonably pronounced sense of nationalism already present in Turkish Kurdistan. Although there has been an acknowledgement to possible resistance to the idea of home given how overstretched the French empire already is, should the French be granted their concession in Turkey, then they will be bound via treaty to come to Greece's aid once war with Turkey begins. If the motion fails to pass, then regardless of the outcome of the Heraklion Convention, France will, not, will hold no obligations to Greece when the war begins. We vote aye. Yes, you may have Kurdistan, France, as long as I can get my Megali idea. That's all we want. That's all we want. Escort fleet designer. The Bulgarian government condemns the IMRO. Okay, and luckily the French have been allowed to take what uh, they've been offered. The majority of attending delegates have voted that France should be granted the mandate in Kurdistan upon the successful toppling of the Turkish state. French officials have condemned attending delegates for their sage st uh, statesmanship and have already relayed instructions to the central French government to begin planning for the establishment of an administration in the region. Commended, not condemned, commended. The delegates have done well for him, apparently. Okay, well, cool. Cool. Oh, I want to go back and grab... Oh, we don't actually need stability. We're, we're actually really stable now. <laughs> That's even with a minus 10 from the debt to the IFC. So... Right, right, right. The topic of this round of voting is whether or not the United Kingdom should be granted a Armenian protectorate in Turkish Trabzon upon the capitulation of Turkey. The topic of whether an Armenian state should be released inside of Turkish borders has been continuous in consideration of disturbingly recent events. Uh, but British, British delegates maintain that establishing an Armenian state in the Soviet frontier is not only a moral thing to do, but also a very strategically sound position to take. Should the British be granted this concession in Turkey, they will then be bound via a treaty to come to Greece's aid when the war with Turkey begins. If motion fails to pass, then regardless of the outcome of the Heraklion Convention, the United Kingdom will hold no obligations to Greece when the war begins. Yes, we vote aye. We will give them whatever the hell they want, as long as they join us. To take down Turkey. The British get their protectorate. The majority of the attending delegates have voted that the United Kingdom should be granted the Armenian protectorate carved out of the husk of a defeated Turkey. British officials have commended attending delegates for their sage statesmanship and have already relayed instructions to the central British government to begin planning for the establishment of an administration in the region. Okay, I guess next is Italy. If they did actually attend. Th did they come? Was the anxiety over them like not actually coming or was it because we thought they might mess up things for us? Right, you know, I'm just going to get exercise. I just want to make five political power to change the cavalry. Because I just want to get some more cavalry. I'll just help quickly try and move to Istanbul. The topic for this round of voting is whether or not Italy should be granted colonial territories in the south of Turkey after Turkey has been conquered. Every attendee has some reservations about handing over territory in the Mediterranean freely to the Italians. The Italian delegates part of words of Benito Mussolini when they emphatically expressed that being granted this territory would only be putting rights on the wrongs of Victoria Mutilata. It was decided by the other attendant powers before the Heraklion Convention's formal beginning that Italian involvement in the invasion of Turkey would be undesirable. Instead of participating directly in the war, if Italy is granted their concessions, then they will be bound to a pact of non-aggression with Greece and a pact of non-interference with regards to the hypothetical <coughs> excuse me, war with Turkey. 
If the motion fails to pass, then regardless of the outcome of the Heraklion Convention, Italy will hold no obligations to Greece when the war begins, and may even seek to interfere. Oh no. Italy, you don't get to interfere, boy. I have a funny feeling Italy's Italy gets their territories. Yeah, so Italy is gonna get claims on Mersin and Antela, I think. Because I think France is getting five provinces from Turkey. The British are gonna get Trabzon and I'm going to hopefully get my Megali idea territories. Come on, everything has went swimmingly so far. We vote aye to our own idea. Yes, we're going to vote aye to that. The topic for this round of voting is whether or not the Megali idea, the long-held revanche ideals of Greater Greece, should be permitted by the great powers present. Greek national leader the Themistocles made a surprise visit to the chambers where the Heraclean Convention was being held. When an impassioned speech about how the Megali idea represents more than a cynical land grab and how this would be a, the realisation of a shared hallowed dream maintained for centuries by Greeks all around the world. It's not a question. Should the Megali idea be rejected here and now, then all concession and promises made in the Heraclean Convention will be voided. The future of Greece's democracy and integrity could well rest upon the decision of the attendees here today. Yes, if the motion is passed, then upon Turkey's capitulation, Greece shall annex Istanbul and the other Turkish states to the border of the Aegean Sea. If Greece is denied the Megali idea, then every motion passed as far is nullified. And then, horror and fear, and then, yeah... Yeah, we'll have to take them down ourselves. The Bolivarian Alliance. An alliance that... <gasps> the majority of attending delegates have voted that Greece should be permitted to realise the Megali idea should it successfully best Turkey in a war. Our officials are ecstatic, and Themistocles has already addressed the nation to relay that the Heraclean Convention was a success. Of course, nobody outside of our closed circle of attendees really knows what the Heraclean Convention was truly about, but many of our people have inferred that the topic of conversation was chiefly over the realisation of the Megali idea. We have come out of the Heraclean Convention with everything we could have wanted, but next comes the hardest part. Indeed it is the hardest part. Because we don't have as big an army as they do. We are solely relying on the Italians, actually the French, and the United Kingdom to come to our aid. I don't know if they have to, or if they can just bin their commitment to us. If they can just go up, nope, change my mind. I'm just thinking, do we have enough artillery to... Oh, sugar, what the hell has happened there? Austria's the... Okay, the Heraclean Convention has officially come to an end with it an absolute success. All attendees are left with guarantees of territorial gains and it would appear that Greece is in for a thorough expansion of its borders. Together, we shall avenge the Treaty of Severus on a far more deserving Turkey. And now we have non-aggression and guarantee independence from Italy, which I think is absolutely smashing. Yes, motorized, and I need to now research anti here. Motorized can take a bark burner, though. Ah, yes, the hostile fascists have been dealt with. More support's going to be up at 99%. Good, good, good. Yeah, so, time to do this. We would have enough. Okay, um, army focus, army focus, army focus. That gives us 10. Um, our armed forces are decent enough for our current national situation, but we remain the weakest of the Balkan Pact members militarily, militarily and we criticize often for the lack of modernization across our armed forces. It's time we got serious about our military situation, especially as our internal situation deteriorates. If anything, it's improved, thank you very much, Lee. Just need to deal with the four monopolies and we're absolutely fine. Now this also unlocks decisions for us. The Hellenic Academy battle plans. Decisions. So that's that's interesting. Yep, Austria died. Thanks for thanks for telling the Germans no and then just dying anyways. And Stalinist victory in the Spanish Civil War. Great, so the common turns now over here in Western Europe. That's exactly what we wanted. 
Oh well. It happened. Not much you can do now. Right, that's the cavalry division starting out. Mexico declared war Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador. Thank you for rising, rising the world tension to eighteen percent. Thank you. It's exactly what everybody was wanting in the world right now. It's only nineteen thirty-eight. Let's finish that. Backbone of the art. What is the point of that? Recruitment population is 0.2%. What is the point? Byzantium has been restored. Oh, okay. A land of mountains seems pretty nice. <laughs> Division recovery rate as well. Nice, nice, nice. Byzantium has been restored. Okay, Byzantium is a is a big play in this. Mexico declared war on Panama, and Costa Rica, and Nicaragua. So you've declared war in all of Central America, and you're losing. You're in a civil war as well. What the? Well. And you're inviting Brazil to the faction. What on earth are you doing? Like, seriously. All right, expand the tobacco. Or you. I think I'm going to expand the tobacco. That gives us four civvies. I'd rather have the four civvies right now. No three factories can come later. Now, we will lose our tourism industry as soon as we enter a state of war. So, I think I'll modernize... Mobilize the economy, get the war economy. <laughs> and I think. Controlling this but also. This fort has great effect when controlling the Dodecanese Islands in Cyprus. Yeah. See, I think rejuvenating Athens is probably what I'm going to go for. Two civvies and military and another building slot. Alright, we should have a wee look at the decisions actually. But uh, that's all good. Just a shame we don't have recon in. Oh, Mexico's actually managed to beat the Junta. Okay. So we've got Realize Magalia here. Oh, it bonuses against all these guys. Oh. Did one of them not feed Turkey? That would be nice. But I think what we need to do is we need to start figure thinking about going to war, because it is almost 1939. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go the Gordian Knot. Gordian Knot is part of Alexander Grace's legend. It has come to this mean solving a seemingly impossible task through a bold stroke. Impossible task of reclaiming our lost lands. Our bold stroke is having our powerful allies take it for us. If they all actually join in. Just thinking, would it maybe be beneficial to have some divisions over in. Um, over here to protect our islands? You know, just, just, just protect them. You, ne you never know when they could come in handy. Plus, it is a way for us to actually push out. Yeah, there's the one gone. There's the other. Right. And there we go. Do we have a defense guy? Marcos Dracos, you can come into play. I might actually even try and push out. Because that's 13 divisions. If we can get to a bottleneck, we should be fine. So what I'm actually going to do is I think what I'll... I'll actually spawn them in here and send them to here. When they jump in. No point trying to grab any more of that. Entrenchment expert. Mobilization speed is minus 5, but... Max entrenchment in that. Well, he's the only. I'm gonna grab him. Guatemala's died. Oh, I feel like Mexico is actually gonna manage to mop up all of Central America. Liberate the Antilles. I take it the Brazilians told them to bugger off. 
Oh gosh, we don't have manpower. That's good. That's exactly what we're needing. Zero manpower. Because since they haven't remobilized um, these Bursa, Istanbul, and Idarin, Idarine, I've, I've definitely said it wrong. Um, and there's all the territories we'll take. Um, there's nine divisions here, which is a bit of a bit of an interesting one, I have to say. Um, exercise them a little bit. We have got about 35 days to sort them. What's the supply like? It's fine, good. The only reason they've not got any organisation is because they're training. That's good. Got guns, a little bit short of artillery, but we are going to bump that back up in a second. I'm just hoping all the boys honour the deal that we made. When it gets to the 60 days, I'll stop them exercising. And then we'll go ahead and jump on into this war. Right. Stop. 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 And what we'll actually do is, we're going to leave that episode there. We'll get into the war next time. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I shall be back very soon for some more. Until then, take care. Cheer bye. For the now.